Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes. Whoo, was this a happy Wednesday that we do? No, this Thursday, Lord. I'm like, okay. Hump day. All right, all right. We don't pass hump day. We're on Thursday. So I don't know when y'all are going to be seeing this video. Thursday morning. No, it wouldn't have been Thursday morning. So Thursday night. Or y'all be checking it out Friday morning or Friday afternoon or Friday night. But I just want to put some truth up in this situation about what I heard. Or my truth, I should say. From the sun had uh, pretty much uh did look having in saying oh he was doing some misappropriation with some funds of wendy williams now i know y'all was saying i heard a, a lot of uh bloggers that i like was saying you know they don't think that kevin jr uh would do something like that to his mom or you know they just saying kevin jr is innocent right and that's what we pretty much say about our kids until they give us something to pause for the cause you know we try to raise our children right we try to keep them in the limelight of our business if we're in the entertainment business but we try to shield them from certain things as well now y'all know um better than i do that um these celebrity kids get to thinking they be wanting their inheritance before their parents pass and sometimes they tend to make the parents passing unnatural you know what i'm saying and when i'm saying i'm natural i'm saying they ain't letting their parents get old and gray and they pass out the world with uh you know the normal normal things uh old age um heart failure you know stuff of that nature but sometimes these celebrity kids now they don't be, they don't want to wait they want their stuff right then and there some of them are very psychotic and feel like, well, let's get rid of our uh, parents. Let's offer them. And then we can have the money to ourselves because they don't live their life. They, you know, we don't need them around. Did y'all think about that, too? I'm just saying, if you're going to have a story, if you're going to sit down now and uh, talk about a particular subject, topic, then we got to talk about it all, the good, bad, and the ugly. Okay? So we are, one would not think that one's child would go to such extremes. But we couldn't and shouldn't put it past them that that would be a possibility. So the whole thing is out here that Wendy Williams' son allegedly uh, took a hundred k off her American Express card. And see, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because you know she been done wrong before. Look at Big Cap; he done it in right. Now, I don't say if it was a, a long time coming or it was just out the blue. We don't know. But we know in her last couple of years with the Wendy Williams show, it uh, was kind of shaky. We already knew he was out there fooling around with uh, her. Shireen, I don't forgot her last name. It don't really matter. Could have been any woman, you know what I'm saying? Then, not only did he have an affair, he brought a child in ball. So, you know, he was hitting it raw diggity dog. Raw diggity dog, all right? Uh, and <laughs> look who he hanging with. Mary J. Blige and her cheating ass husband. And Mary J. Blige's ex-husband wanted spousal support. Now, you see what I'm saying? Men are supposed to take care of women, not women take care of men. That's just the ultimate thing we try to strive for now we're the helpmates now when our partner falls short on taking care of the family providing for the family then if we got the means there or we got the help we're supposed to help out we're supposed to go and help out our husbands okay they ain't talking about the ones that are shacking with folks and you know they're trying to say this is they mate they don't have to have a piece of paper to them with honey in this world you need a piece of paper because sometimes the lines and the vision get murky and then you're going to be on the outs when you know you gave your 
110% to this dude or this woman, and they treat you like shit. So I'm like, hey, stop shacking. Go on and get that paper. Because that paper saves a lot of conversation later on down the road when people want to get this, that, and the third because they don't want to stay in their marriage. Now, they saying, and you know, when the women's been looking right, and y'all know how I feel about that situation. So we ain't gonna even talk about that. But uh yeah, they're saying Wendy Williams son took a hundred K off her American Express card, her personal card, not her business card. What they're not telling us is what was the charges used for? Was it school supplies? Was it school tuition? Was it uh just a shopping spree? Getting him some uh gear for the winter time? Uh did he buy it? Uh, gifts for women other than Wendy Williams, his mom, you know, like bracelets, necklaces, you know, when you're trying to um, treat your girlfriend to some finer things in life, you know, upgrading her here and there. Uh, what did he spend it on? Did he buy himself a car? Uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Now, if it was school supplies, school related, then that should not be an issue. They should be able to tell us all of the things that he spent off of American Express card with school supplies. Now, anything other than clothing that would have fit his behind wouldn't have been questionable. But if it's other some other shit going around him, like he taking care of his women, I'm talking about Kevin Jr. now, or is he giving the money to his dad for his dad to mess all over? Or you know what is the end game? What were the expenses being charged for? You see what I'm saying? And then it would be no issue of whether he did it or he didn't do it. Okay? Uh, but anyway, let's go into it. The story, the sun.com had broke it up, broke it out for us um, and put it out. It was titled, well, let's give credit where credit is due. It's a son employee. She may be an in, what do you call it? <sighs> what do you call it? Uh, I just lost my train of thought. An independent contractor for the son. Or she may be legitly just working on this, you know, with the son as an employee, whatever. Okay, but some people get assignments. That's why I have to call, you know, you know, little entrepreneurs or big entrepreneurs when they want to uh, put out their services for pay uh, that they can render to a company, but they don't have to necessarily be an employee of that company. Okay, so that's why I said independent contractor. But anyway, uh, Jessica Flynn, she broke this out for us on the 23rd of this month. She titled it, Not So Fast, Wendy Williams' son, Kevin, 22, charged 100 k to his mom's American Express card before Wells Fargo froze troubled host account. Now, you know, we all were thinking one way about this lady that Wendy knew that was her financial banker at Wells Fargo. You know, we thought she was just being evil. She had, you know, put on Wendy Williams' account that uh, she thinks something's going on fraudulent with the account. Somebody may be taking advantage of Wendy, and she felt she needed to do what she needed to do and protect the, the uh, Wells Fargo as well as the client, which is Wendy Williams, when it comes to her money. So, you know, I, everybody was up in arms on the blogging site saying, ooh, you know, where Fargo, this, that, and the third, ooh, uh, that woman who was handling uh, Wendy Williams' account, ooh, she did a wrong, this, that, and the third. But in hindsight, it's kind of looking a little toe. Well, it's looking a lot suspicious, but it's, uh, the clarity is coming in slowly but surely, okay? Because the best people... That you think or around you may be your worst enemies that you're keeping close to you. You see what I'm saying? Let me say that again. Your bestest friends that you're keeping close to you may actually be your enemies. Or oh, I might have screwed that up when I was trying to go back. But y'all know where I'm going with it, okay? How they used to say, old adage, keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer. Hell, I'm on the boat just saying keep everybody closest. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you think your friends your friends. And they get a little jealous. And they start their, their vision or their image of what you're being and doing like in the public. And what you mean to them may get a little murky. You see what I'm saying? So, 
to keep it on the 100 to keep it white and black we don't want no grays in there sometimes you got to keep everybody that you come encounter with that's family friends foes anybody you want to have a line up with all of them need to be scrutinized all of them need to be second guessed you know what i'm saying because it's worse getting evil and evil you just don't know people you just don't know uh how my mom used to say how her mom used to say and, and, and uh, further on down the generations the world is coming to an end and as we can see everything that we felt was loyal it was intent to keep americans uh level-headed and a, a playing fair feel fair and for everybody to be get the part of the american dream well we know that ain't never really been good the laws ain't never been good to the brown people okay we know this okay but then things has gone so left lately you can't even depend on the judicial system and i ain't talking about just for the brown people i'm talking about for everybody okay we getting screwed over big time with these taxes and these bailouts and, and nothing for the common folk nothing for the poor folks to even look com uh we co have comfort in that the government gonna do us do by us right no because <laughs> they still fighting about whether they want to give us you know a reprieve for our, from our school loans but yet the government keeps bailing out these car companies these banks these uh, uh, rich people giving them uh, tax tax write-offs and on PP loans. I'm telling you, more the people had them was people that already had money, and they forgave them. So why you can't forgive everybody that went to school to try to better themselves, okay? And then for the ones that did uh, pay their student loans, give them some tax credit when it comes to you know being single if they still are having a family if they still are that's the best thing for the ones that actually paid their student loans off and in full okay that's how i look at it but let's even go on to this situation to see what got when this son looked at kind of questionable okay oh uh, let's see wendy williams son kevin hunter jr Spent one hundred thousand on his mother's American Express card before Wells Fargo froze the alien host account. And I, that's one thing I want to say. And then I'm going to go on and get into the story. American Express card is very good to have. You would never have a balance because you are expected to pay the balance in full by the end of each month, or oh, by the fifteenth or however you had set it up. So to me, that's just like having a uh, getting your. Um, money from your job if you get paid every week if you get paid every month if you get paid every two weeks it's gonna be there so to me that's the best card to have other than having a um visa mastercard um uh, and and what is it uh, we discover hell i don't had all of them but i really enjoy having uh my american express card but oh child i just got tired of debt so i said let me just wrap put all this shit up you know get all rid of all these cars and just go with cash if i can't afford it if they ain't got a little way i can't do it i just can't do it okay but that was just my side story let's get back on into the real topic uh, story we're covering tonight okay it says uh sources close to the former daytime talk show host exclusively revealed to the, the u.s sun that kevin ran up a huge tab on her dime in the months before when this brokerage accounts with supposed millions of dollars were frozen in january okay wendy williams son kevin hunter jr kevin hunter jr ran up a hundred k tab on her mx recording to sources okay the alleged splurge happened in the months before wells fargo froze her accounts kevin jr spent around 100k uh on Wendy's personal american express card this for her this was her own american express specifically specifically the insider share and my whole thing is and i didn't have i didn't have my daughter at the time when i had my account see on these credit card accounts you can put authorized user on there. Now, my thing was, okay, if it was her personal card, and she knows she had a son that was going, you know, in college, getting ready to go to college, been in college, whatever, wouldn't she want to have let him have a credit card on her account as an authorized user? 
This first thing came up like, okay, why she didn't have him on her card? So that bears one. That gives one. That gives one to pause for the cause to say, mm, that makes sense. And he wouldn't have to been answering, or his name would have been being dragged through the mud if that's something she really wanted him to have. So don't know. It may come out later on down the road. But right now we're gonna say allegedly he was not an authorized user. And he was old enough to be an authorized user. So we gotta pause on that. We gotta we gotta second guess some things, okay? We gotta do our due diligence and wait for more evidence. So go out there and research it. But you know I'm lazy as hell. I'm I'm nosy as hell. I'm lazy as hell too. I ain't gonna go looking for shit. Unless I want to, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't too much invested in these lives of other people to go and do something like that. Now, if you're a researcher, you're a journalist, yeah, you have to do your due diligence and go to miles. And this, it can be 100,000 miles you can go, but you got to go the mile because that's your oath you took to provide the truth. Right here with me, it's allegedly, we just having a conversation. You can be smoking over there. You can be eating yourself down. You could be, uh, you know, just relaxing and just want to have a, a dumbass conversation about stuff that don't have no relevance in our own lives. But we care to talk about it, okay? We're going back to the article. Yes, we are. It says, um, where are we? The source explained that the card that Kevin 22 used was different than the card Wendy's manager used, whose name is Bernie Young. And uh, he, he had used it to hire an attorney for Carolyn Wolf. And I'm thinking that's the financial person that Wendy had employed at Wells Fargo. But why would Bernie be trying to get her lawyer when she should get her own lawyer? I mean, are they on the same team or what? Are they all against Wendy? All right. And some people said she got it coming to her because she talked so bad about employees, uh, not employees, she talked so bad about uh, celebrities and things of that nature. But, you know, like I said, we got, we got to, you see one side, you got to see the other side. Wendy wouldn't have nothing to tell if they weren't telling on themselves about certain things and certain people. Things that you don't want out there, keep it between you and the Lord, okay? Don't trust another person. Hell, don't even trust your family members with something that can be delicate and put your ass away in jail somewhere. Keep it to yourself and the Lord. Then you won't have to explain that. Thing. You won't even have to have a conversation about it. But as we as being human, we feel like when we do something, we just got to tell somebody. You know, we hear something about somebody. We still got to tell somebody. This is human nature, curiosity. This is what it is. Okay. So we got, um, go back to the article. It says, Kevin was demanding that Wendy's advisor pay the bill instead of Wendy. The source claim between American Express card usage and a tense visit to a Wells Fargo bank in Florida with Wendy. Um, put my glasses back on. Had to clean them for a minute. Her son and her now former attorney, LaShawn Thomas, was there. Oh, well, LaShawn Thomas, there were several red flags ahead of the accounts before the account being frozen, according to the sources. In a statement given to the U.S. Sun, Kevin Jr. said, I vehemently, vehemently, wait a minute, vehemently, meaning he just totally do not agree with what they're saying. And he might have proof, okay? But he's definitely saying for, for the world to hear, he's screaming at the top of his lungs, he did not do this thing, all right? But like I said, he's denying it. even allegations of unauthorized use of my mother's American Express card. This is a false narrative perpetuated to justify freezing her accounts. Now, did uh, Kevin Jr. come up with that statement? Because it sounds like some grown folks shit is happening when he made that kind of statement. Did somebody coach him? Well, he's just that affluent. Okay? We're using his words and them words getting, you know, back to the people they need to get back to. You know what I'm saying? Like pointing fingers. And if it was him and he was doing all that, like, damn, Kevin, you good, you good. You need to be out of school and back up in New York going to school to watch your mama. But that's just me. That's just me. I'm like, she did for you. You need to do for her because right now she need everybody help. All right. But y'all know how I feel about that situation about Wendy, whether she's here with us or not. Y'all know. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, Bake 
bank break breakdown they got it says wendy's former attorney LaShawn exclusively told the u.s sun in a conversation earlier this year about a visit to wells fargo branch in florida with her then client just days before the bank chaos LaShawn admitted she is no longer working with the star and that she has remained on as an attorney for wendy's ex-husband kevin Horner, 49 we got a pause for the calls right there whoa 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 Hold up the horse. We don't need to gallop no more. Oh, God. We need to be understanding why is Miss LaShawn representing uh, uh, Wendy's ex-husband. Okay? I don't understand that. We need rep representation from Wendy because this, this joke already don't food around on her and brought a child out of the situation. Okay? And he could have been having sex with Wendy still along with having sex with, the you know, the mistress. Now, you know that ain't cool, that ain't kosher, and that's a good way to catch diseases, all right? But these two punks right here, they ain't saying they're gay. I'm just saying that they look like punks, okay? They manless, they spineless is what I'm trying to say. Sitting up here trying to get women's, women's money. I mean, when it came to Kevin, hey, y'all were married, but you still say, I need my check because I'm working for you. I could be doing things on my own, but I'm working for you. I want to be paid this amount of amount. Do you agree? draw up that contract that you know when it comes to business he you getting you paying your husband okay let's make it very clear but since i'm sure no contracts was drawn up like that because when the felt she could trust them and look at her now got that one eye symbolism going on too that's just peeping game for the people that know what i'm talking about we ain't gonna go into it we ain't gonna go into it just research one eye symbolism and see what you come up with okay then we got, um, <laughs> okay, when asked if anything toward ha had happened with Wendy's accounts before they were frozen, the attorney laid out the following interaction at one of the bank's brokerage office offices in Florida in January. Okay. The attorney denied that there was any use or any issue of financial exploitation, which had been raised as a concern by the bank in court papers. LaShawn claimed to the U.S. Sun, I met Wendy at Wells Fargo branch. We went in, or we went into the Wells Fargo branch, and we spoke to the branch manager. We told him what was going on. The attorney said that the 58-year-old only son was also present during the bank visit. LaShawn explained that they had Wait a minute. LaShawn explained they had, as of yet, been unable to get a hold of Wendy's bank statements, which were being mailed directly to her New York residence. Kevin Jr. also wanted to set up online banking by his mother while she was staying in Florida. Okay. Money drama. Wendy said she wanted to get access to the accounts. LaShawn continued and said the bank manager had told her, well, we don't do that in the retail branch that's the wells fargo advisory advisors let me see if i can get somebody on the line LaShawn continued to claim he called lori Schuler, when his longtime financial advisor he went into another room and had a conversation with lori and came out he said lori was willing to talk to wendy but that she doesn't want anybody else in the room when she talks to wendy so wendy said no why can't she talk to me with my attorney? I can understand if my son has to leave out of the room, but I want to keep my attorney here. Now, see, my whole thing is, okay, why your son going to leave? If you that down and, and, and up with this woman representing you and hearing everything that Linda had to say in, in her presence of, you know, it, she knows she's there listening, why your son couldn't stay? Sound like an iffy transaction to me. Sound like it's some iffy stuff going on. Well, we need to pause and examine all avenues, all people and parties involved. I'm just keeping it 100. Okay, going back to the article. It said, um, LaShawn added, and Laura said, no. I want to talk to Wendy alone. And if Wendy doesn't want to talk to her alone, Lori wouldn't talk to Wendy. Okay, now, the trio then left the bank empty-handed. A source confirmed the interaction and said that it had caused concern as it was unusual for Wendy to come into a brokerage office with people in tow and ask for access to her accounts. Oh, well, you see what I'm saying? Do you see what they're trying to build up here? All right, sometimes 
information is right there in front of you and you can't even see it like they say you can't see the forest for the trees same thing with this thing hidden in plain sight okay hidden in plain sight okay going back to the article it says um a source confirmed the interaction and said that it has caused concern as it was unusual for wendy to come into a brokerage office with people in tow and ask for access to her accounts now all the people she rolled up there with was who LaShawn, wendy and wendy jr okay we could say cabin dream but we didn't want to do all that all right okay in a lengthy statement which LaShawn posted to instagram on thursday she alleged that she is being barred from being in contact with wendy williams and blew off any allegations that there was a conflict of interest in her remaining on the case involving wells fargo the statement began to be clear there was never a conflict of interest the judge and wells fargo did not want me on the case because i couldn't be bought okay that's what she's saying now but i'm sure everybody have their price to be bought with certain situations okay that's all i'm gonna say certain situations um i would never stand by and watch my client be taken advantage of so they did everything to get me out of the picture including threatening to report me to the florida bar if i communicated with my client hmm and then again it's like a conflict of interest how you gonna be uh kevin hunter's senior uh attorney and you gonna be uh wendy williams attorney that's the kind of unethical to me as well as it's unheard of and what are we trying to hide okay but then anyway we're gonna go on we're gonna go on um i would never stand by and watch my client be taken advantage of. okay we read that the sean then praised the tv host ex-husband kevin as his successes at wendy's daytime talk show when asked for a comment about the attorney's allegations a wells fargo rep directed the u.s son to their previous statements wells fargo priority is the financial well-being of miss williams and the perseverate preservation of her privacy okay wendy's accounts were under the control of a financial guardian after her bank alleged that she was the victim of financial exploitation dementia or undue influence in explosive court filings okay the star who was expected to regain access uh to them or her american express card which also seems to have gotten tied up in the proceedings will selby there we go with that will selby mess again Wendy's manager previously told the u.s son that he has been trying to help wendy work through the well the wells fargo situation he said he was trying to get the people involved oops ah no that's just my mic stand Whew, my mic had uh, dropped off the stand, y'all. Ooh, let's get it back together. Let's get it back together. Okay. It's back where it needs to be right now anyway. Okay. Where were we? Hmm. Okay. Will Selby is still on the case. When this manager previously told the son he's working with uh, all parties to help speed along Wendy having personal access to her accounts again. He said that he was trying to get the people involved in her accounts to understand that what took place before is not the case now. And that people that were working with Wendy before are no longer working with her now. Okay, the U.S. son previously exclusively reported Wendy's contention battle with Wells Fargo to unfreeze her bank accounts ended after a new york judge appointed a financial guardian to oversee her finances in may okay all right as a source explained the guardianship process is complete which means the court appointed as a fine well the court appointed a financial guardian uh which is a court appointed a, a court appointed appointed a financial guardian now it's up to the guardian wendy and the court as to how she will be assessing her money okay meaning they just have a third party involved that's going to tell you these are the criteria that your money will be spent anything else uh coming from that source of money that you have we will need to uh see why and when where and how 
we're going to either let you have that money for that purchase you're trying to make or whether we're going to deny it. And that's a bad place to be in. Bad place to be in. When you don't work hard for your money doing whatever, whatever your claim the same far as your employment is. And then you somehow get entangled with some mess and somebody else is going to tell you what to do with your money. Now, like I said, if she really was in a state of becoming a patient of Alzheimer's or dementia, like the third stage or whatever, then it would behoove the person that really was responsible, respectable, and definitely honest uh, to do what a person needs to do to take care of a person in that particular situation. But it don't seem like Wendy had nobody. She had more enemies around her that she was dealing with on a daily basis. And she chose to deal with them before any of this, you know, unforgetfulness and um, I'm talking about dementia and Alzheimer's and all that kind of stuff came to play into uh, the picture we have here now. Uh, so, mm, bad situation all the way around. Have to keep praying for her and her family. Uh, the ones, well, you know, like I said, we just need the Lord to uh, bench press the ones that pretty much are doing harm to her. And she thinks they're really helping her. Yeah. Only can God get them straight. Now, not man. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it says the bank now acts at the direction of Wendy and her guardian while insiders claim. Several sources have also revealed that there was a temporary guardian mm-hmm, in place since at least March. Though it is unclear if the official court appointed financial guardian is the same person. As one insider revealed, the court can eventually decide to give Wendy back full control of her accounts and end the guardianship, but that is up to the court. In the meantime, Wendy is said to still have a voice and she still has a say when it comes to her finances. And while she doesn't have 100% control right now, that could all change soon depending on what the court decides. <laughs> Let's see what I'm saying. They're saying in the meantime, she has a voice, she has a say, but yet... She's still being under control 100% of the time with somebody else making decisions for her. Okay, it's unclear who named as women. It is unclear who was named as Wendy's financial guardian. Uh huh. Is there so, so much? You know, we don't know who it is, but they know. They just don't want to put it out there. Uh, as far as we know, it could be Kevin Sr., it could be Kevin Jr. It could be Mickey Mouse. I don't know. <laughs> but I put it like this. Just as long as the court is knowing what her money is being transpired, going to, being appropriated to, then we should have a timeline as well as dates and times money was being dispensed in the amounts and who was it or who was actually getting that money. So, like I said, it's a bad, bad situation when you have more foes on your payroll and in your immediate circle then you have friends and family that are really there for the best interest or what you felt or what they felt you would have wanted but anyway that's all i got for this uh particular article I ain't got no more and put y'all selves down in them comments let's talk about this situation and you gotta stop with just me introducing it to y'all you know how they go i like to hear from y'all y'all like to hear from me that's what family do for one another okay but don't forget to subscribe as well as share, like, and comment, okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.